How's it going, people? Well, I still got a little bit of beer left, so I thought I'd read a little DNC. I mean, why waste a perfectly good buzz, you know? <laughs> All right, where the fuck am I? I believe I'm on section 16, but I can't be sure. <laughs> Don't have the internet, can't check. I have to go somewhere to get internet, which isn't too much of a problem, but it does cut down on my YouTube viewing, and I, I regret that. Oh well. Section 16. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, the Peter Whitmer Jr. at Fayette, New York, June 1829, a very busy month. See heading to section 14. Been there, done that. Peter Whitmer Jr. later became one of the eight witnesses to the Book of Mormon. So we get to see how they groomed, how he, jo Joseph Smith grooms his witnesses. <clears throat> One, hearken, my servant Peter, and listen to the words of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Redeemer. For behold, I speak unto you with sharpness and with power. For mine arm is over all the earth. Wow. That's a long-ass arm. Three. And I will tell you that which no man knoweth save me and thee alone. That sounds familiar. Damn, it's like he's repeating sections. Giving them... These are like almost form letters, you know? Cut and paste it. I mean, what do you think? Doesn't this all sound the same? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Three! Uh, no, wait. Uh, four! Four! For many times you have desired of me to know that which would be the most worth unto you. That sounds familiar. It's the last chapter. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yeah. Chapter 15 and 16 are the same. Except one's addressed to uh, John Whitmer and the other's to Peter. They're like Valentine cards or something, you know, where you get a whole box of the same one. This is God talking to you, too, in a form letter. See section 15. Or the same six verses. <laughs> yeah, the most worth unto you. That ought to be useful. Or at least you will be. Five. Behold, blessed are you. For this thing and for speaking my words which I have given unto you according to my commandments and now behold I say unto you that the thing which will be the most worth unto you slipping into modern speak again uh, will be to declare repentance unto this people, that you may bring souls unto me, that you may rest with them in the kingdom of my Father. Amen. Cross my heart. No pun intended. Well, maybe a little one. All right. That wasn't very satisfying. It was 
It was just a repetition of the verse, preceding verse. This looks a tiny bit different. It's mostly masthead, though. God damn it. Section 17. Because 16 was a disappointment. We did that one before. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, to Oliver, Oliver Cowdery, Cousin Ollie, David Whitmere, and Martin Harris at Fayette, New York, June 1829. Busy, busy. Prior to their viewing the engraved plates that contained the Book of Mormon record. <laughs> it's a record. Yeah. Okay. Joseph and his scribe, Oliver Cowdery, had learned from the translation of certain passages on the Book of Mormon plates that three special witnesses would be designated see either 5, 2 through 4 I haven't quite reached ether yet but looking forward to it still in 3rd Nephi We'll get there. We'll we get there. Also, Second Nephi, eleven three, been there, done that, and twenty seven twelve. Way back. <sighs> Maybe some other time. Oliver Cowdery, David Whitmere, and Martin Harris were moved upon by an inspired desire this book's falling apart on me god damn it <laughs> that desire to be the three witnesses oh please let me pick me what do you need how much just put my name in this book somewhere Immortality, some sort. Still limited. Okay. The prophet inquired of the Lord, and hit this revelation was given in answer through the Urim and Thummim, which is basically the equivalent of like. Dungeons and Dragons, or, you know, with dice, or a fucking Ouija board, you know? <laughs> okay. Urim and Thummim, a fortune-telling device that King David liked to play with. <clears throat> See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 52. You're welcome to do that if you want. I'll get there eventually. The three conditionally promised that they shall be permitted to view not only the plates, but also other sacred relics of the Book of Mormon record. Only by faith, like unto that of the prophets of old, can they thus well can they be thus privileged? So if your faith is weak, you can't see the Emperor's fancy new outfit. Wow. That's so fucking convincing. They to just wait, they did testify that they what they shall see. Joseph Smith's solemn avowals 
to be supported. The Lord declares that he lives, uh, wait, that as he lives, the translation is true. We've made it to the masthead. Damn. One. The first. Wait, let's make sure there's no drinks. Yeah, I think so. All right. Behold, I say unto you that you must rely upon my word. There you go. What else do you need? <sighs> Just obey. Which, if you do with full purpose of heart, you shall have a view of the plates. And also of the breastplate, the sword of of Laban, the Urim and Thummim, which were given to the brother of Jared upon the mount, when he talked with the Lord face to face, and the miraculous directors which were given to Lehi while in the wilderness on the borders of the Red Sea. I remember it well. It just seems so. Dungeon and Dragons video game. Ah! Magic item! Pick it up! I don't really have time to play video games, but I've dabbled. Don't have time to play. Two! And it is by your faith that you shall obtain a view of them. Even by that faith which had which was had by the prophets of old. So if you don't see them, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you sure you don't see them? Oh cool. Sign right here. Three, and after th that, you have obtained faith. Really? That's so useful to whoever's using you. And have seen them with your eyes, you shall testify of them by the power of God. Four. And this you shall do that my servant, Joseph Smith Jr., may not be destroyed. Not yet, anyway. He does get, like, shot out of a window, or off a window ledge, I mean. He wasn't shot out the window, he was climbing out. <laughs> they shot him off the ledge. Because his gun jammed. What a martyr. Yeah. Yelling out his Freemason distress call. That I may bring about my righteousness, my righteous purposes unto the children of men in this work. Five. And ye shall testify that you have seen them. Even as my servant Joseph Smith Jr. has seen them. Right? For it is by my power that he has seen them. And it is because he had faith. You're not weird, are you? You're not one of them atheists, are you? Yeah, sign right here. Y you saw it, right? 
or will see it eventually. I see the light, or whatever else you tell me I'm seeing. <laughs> I want to fit in. <sighs> Six. And he has translated the book, even that part which I have commanded him. And as your Lord and your God liveth, it is true. There you go. That's official, man. I mean, it has to be true then. Right? I mean, you wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Seven. Damn, I'm getting convinced here. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, wherefore? You have received the same power and the same faith. And the same gift like unto him. Eight. And if you do these last commandments. That's it. These are the last ones. I promise. These last commandments of mine. Which I have given you. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You can rest easily. Easy. Just keep tithing and volunteering all your free time. Come on, you love it. Don't just go to church. Be the church. Eight. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, last day. Yeah, lift it up on that last day. Nine. And I. Jesus Christ. Your Lord and your God have spoken it unto you that I might bring about my righteous purpose purposes unto the children of men. Amen. Lots of repetition. And that's about all I can stand. I should read more, but I'm out of beer. So, I hope you learned something and you'll tell me what it is because I'm just reading here <laughs> this is all repetition <laughs> what the fuck I should just read the Quran again except that was too boring this is at least accidentally funny at least I think so anyway stay tuned peace fuck out have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having?